This is my 5,000 watt generator. Bought right before Hurricane Gustav in 2008. Used it a couple of times. Used it for Gustav. Used it for Hurricane Ike. And most recently we used it for Hurricane Isaac. We used it for Hurricane Isaac for about six days. We went through probably about 35 gallons of gas. After we went through so much gas, we kind of figured it might be a good idea to convert this to natural gas, since we do have natural gas here. So I ordered a kit to convert the carburetor to run on gasoline, natural gas, or propane. And the part that we use primarily is this piece right here, right behind the air filter. And if you come on this side here, that is the fuel regulator. And you can see I have a large one inch hose going into this regulator. That is a gas line that is actually running back to a hot water heater closet. And I have it piped in to the hot water heater closet. with its own cut off for the generator, cut off for the hot water heater, and then back here we have a main cut off that would cut off everything. Uh, the uh, manufacturer recommended I get a one inch hose. You can see it's actually a pretty large and heavy hose. Uh, my gas service actually comes in on the other side of the house, so they recommended that I get an extra large one inch diameter hose. I think I could probably got by with the half inch that most people would use. This is a 25 foot one inch hose. Um, now I'm going to crank this up and usually it'll start on the second pull. I don't have a tripod with me so we're going to turn it on and see what happens. Oh, there's a little primer bulb on the back of the regulator. You might not be able to see it but on the back of the regulator you need to hold that primer plug in until you kind of smell gas, which we do. And then we should be able to pull, and hopefully we'll get started on the second or third pull. Let's see. No problem getting it started. One problem we do have is in installing this little adapter here, the air filter clamps will not fit along here. It's too close now to that pipe. So what I need to get is about a four inch diameter hose clamp that I'm going to put right around here hold that air cleaner on. Other than that, it's working fine and for the next outage we have, we will have a relatively endless supply of fuel. Thanks a lot.